Welcome back to the channel everyone. I've got some great footage here of the Voco Pro 16 conference system. Unfortunately, the audio didn't work. I have no idea why. But anyways, here is the Voco Pro. This comes in a 16 channel uh, setup. If you buy it, it's actually an RF frequency setup and they have each channel with its own individual frequency, which you can see printed on the bottom of the microphones. You have individual volume controls for each of those as well. And on the back of them, you have separate XLR outputs or a single quarter inch output which combines all four of those. And what I've done here for my setup is I'm just going to center point at all of them and I'm using my mixer to control the volumes on all of these. They each have their own power supply and I have it all running into a PDU at the top of the unit so I can turn them all on and off at the same time. And here's the mics themselves. Um, nice little setup. You've got uh, AA batteries in the bottom and this is a power on and then tap to mute and tap to make live type button. Uh, it says on it uh, that yellow is muted. Uh, looks more like red to me. And green is on. Uh, I still say that's a, a red green type light. But uh, you can judge for yourself, I guess. Maybe some people think that red light is yellow. Who knows? I've been told I'm colorblind. Anyways, um, Tap it on, tap it off, that works pretty nice and you always know it's on. One of the big problems I had with the previous system, which was a pile, is you have to push uh, to turn it on and push to turn it off. And anytime you push to turn it on, it would take a minute to sync up to the actual system. So I'd have people push the button and start talking, but it would take a few seconds for it to actually sync up. So since they're all AA batteries, I need to set up a AA battery tray to house all the batteries that I would need for all those mics. And here I'm talking about the Mackie Mixter DL32S mixer. Uh, it does a great job. It's got USB out and regular XLR out, and it's the USB out I need to run into the laptop so I can do the streaming. So each of these uh, will charge off of four batteries off a of USB, and I have a USB hub in the back there that you can see showing the voltage output charging each of those batteries and it seems to be working like great it's a great setup and i think it would be perfect in a stationary rack but i need to carry this thing um, in and out of the building and into other buildings to set up I'm definitely going to pull this battery tray out just because of the weight uh, it's just added too much weight into it i can lift it i can carry it but it's just uncomfortable and hey i'm old so i don't want to carry that anyways here is the 32s mackie software and with the mackie software here you can see um, there's some, we only got a few mics on actually here. Uh, you can see that there's constant noise running on those mics. And what I ended up having to do is pretty much set up a low pass filter at the top here. And I don't know if you know much about the Mackie mixer itself, but that second group down shows the um, kind of equalizer, if you will, of what's going on with the sound. And I think I go into more detail here, but, um, because it's RF, I was dealing with a ton of RF um, interference. Kind of hard to um, hear, especially since the audio is not working. I think I'm going to show you here in just a second. Hurry up, tap, click. I know you're going to do it. I saw the video before. Hell, I recorded the video. There we go. So this is showing the noise coming out of the microphone. And right here, um, if we bump that up a little bit, you can see where that RF interference is coming from. That's with me not talking, there's just noise in the upper band, right above where it says band four, just constantly there. So let's go back to the office and re-record that. Okay, we are back here to get the missing audio from the clip that I recorded last week. I've got two microphones on up front, and as you can see, there's noise constantly from those microphones, whether there's any sound being put into them or not. And I had to do the low pass filter here to get rid of that. I'm right next to my speaker here so you can hear what it's actually doing and if I come to one of these and I remove that by the time you add 16 of them that noise is constant even if I don't boost it this is boosted and it really stands out and the solution of course was to go through and set up that low pass filter for every single one of them. And there we go. So that sound is gone now. Still there showing up on the mix. Still there showing up in the main, but it's not coming out the main because that's all muted. 
and we can get up right close to the speaker. No sound. So it's a fix, it works. I'd prefer if it wasn't there, but the microphones do sound good. So we're gonna leave it with that. And once I got that figured out where that range was, I just did the same thing for all 16 of those mics and then we're all good to go. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that was all because of their RF mics and there's just RF frequency. It may actually not do the same in another building, but who knows, we'll try it out when I go to stream for another building. And to shut these off, just push and hold for about 5-10 seconds, you'll see the light change, that'll go out. And that's all you need to do to turn those on and off. Same thing, uh, push and hold to turn them on, push and hold to turn them off, or just tap them to activate them or mute them. The units all came with a special wire set that takes the four XLR cables, um, runs it through this little patch like this into a thicker cable, and then runs down into another four set. So it's just kind of like a single cable with these four lines running inside of it, which made it nice to wire. And I was able to just tie it all up here and run it into my Mackie mixer. So I've got four channels, four channels, four channels, four channels. And then that's because I'm using the 32S, I still have room for two wireless mics. Um, this is actually going to a room wireless mic, um, which works really nice, the wireless go. And then a regular um, handheld mic that's being used over at the podium there. And then of course the outputs here. Uh, I've got a USB out going to the laptop. Uh, which works out really well and overall uh, i say it's doing a pretty good job i'm gonna enter at least in some of the meeting video and you can see the audio is pretty good the ntcc yeah uh, a few topics uh tonight um a couple quick ones first uh the uh, the joint operating committee last month reviewed and approved the course catalog for next school year and that's all i have thank you <laughs> hey thank you <laughs> I just want to say, I think I looked at the NTC budget that's in here, and I think it's great the way it's broken down um, to see our actual cost, what the other districts are paying, what we're paying, just the overall being able to understand where the money is going, unlike one of the other budgets that we receive. As I mentioned before, I'm using USB out to the laptop and then running uh, those channels in through into the laptop so I can stream them out. I was initially trying to do this with OBS, and I kind of discovered a bug with OBS where it actually will not input, it sees the channels, but it will not input those audio for that to work. So what I ended up doing is using Zoom. Um, Zoom actually worked better and pulled those channels in just fine. No problems with that, saw them okay, everything worked great. And it also has built-in um, anti-feedback when you're in a meeting, so that worked out pretty well too. My ending impression of the actual microphones themselves, once I had got the audio dialed in, it seemed to work pretty good um, as far as sound goes. I'm not super happy with the bottom plastic. It just feels kind of cheap to me. You can hear how thin it, it sounds, kind of like cheap plasticky sound. Um, the battery setup on these doesn't seem to light up 100% and try and put a battery into it. Like the battery wants to sit below the, the pins. And if you can see how that spring isn't lining up in the center of the battery, nor is the pin on the battery, the positive lining up. Like the battery needs to be up a little bit like that to be centered instead of down there. Um, no real way around that unless maybe i put some foam underneath it or something to hold it up but it works just fine it's just a, a weird layout but overall so far i am pleased with the result that i'm getting this is the only um, system i found for doing 16 microphones all at the same time uh, as far as like a uh, using these desktop microphones like this that is uh, affordable. There are systems out there where you can spend 20, 30 grand to do it. This guy is doing it for $1,600. Uh, and I've got 13 mics set out here and still some spares in the back to use. Overall, pleased with it. 
you will need to add a larger mixer like this 32S. Um, 32L wasn't necessary. We have one of those that I use, but uh, the 32S is fine. It just gives me my USB in and out, and that's more than what I need.